Hello, so today we have the pretty good laptop, it's Lenovo G5045. I bought it for 20 euros from online service Viapop in Spain and it has three problems. Uh, the first one, it uh, doesn't turn on, so it's charging but doesn't turn on. The screen is black, the second is broken hinges and the third one is a broken screen so this is the first part of the video and in this video we will repair it so we will reprogram BIOS so it will allow the, allow the laptop to turn on so this is a problem when I trying to turn it on the screen became black you see it yeah and it's like a boot loop without any logo, without any signs of life. So just black screen, and then it turn it, it turns it off, and then it uh, turns it on with the same black screen. So you can see it easily at uh, this video. So let's wait a bit. Uh, you see that again. The screen became black but without logo uh, this is pretty common problem when you have a problem with your bias in your laptop so it's not only the problem problem of Lenovo as I remember the same problem has a Acer Asus of some models and some other models of uh, laptops from different vendors yeah the third one the same nothing changes let's wait a little let's turn off the laptop and okay so now let's try to repair it of course to get the BIOS to unsolder it uh, we should to take off the cover and uh, we will take off the motherboard after that this is pretty common process and this laptop has interesting repair from a uh, previous owner so he uses the screws some screws uh, not standard screws for uh, Lenovo laptop he tried to repair it I mean hinges not bias uh, with some glue and with his own screws <laughs> I will show it further in video so let's wait a little it's it's pretty interesting so it, it it could work even with this solution but the problem is uh with bias uh, this problem is cannot be solved uh by 95 percent of users so it's only five percent could reprogram bias with uh, special programmer from i yeah this is a screw <laughs> you see from previous owner so for a common user it's 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 more or less good solution so what should you do if you can't repair it in a good way so if you have a screwdriver and a screw you sh you you could repair it i mean broken hinges and it could work for months but it, it's not like a good solution Okay, so we should dismount the keyboard. It's pretty typical for Lenovo models. We use this metal tool. So I press the clips and then I can take it off. You will see it. Yeah, I should start the process of taking off the keyboard from the upper part. I forgot to unscrew the keyboard screw. So now it will, yeah, so you see it. And then let's take it off. It's pretty easy process. Okay, so and now we can take off the cover. First, 
the flex cables from the upper part of laptop and then yeah we can we can yeah you see the broken hinges it was a moment with broken hinges so let's take off the cables disconnect the cables from Wi-Fi module and now the cover should easily take off takes off more or less easily of course <laughs> it always has some difficulties you should to solve so let's yeah I'm using the plastic tool for the clips so, so now let's take off the motherboard I took off uh, took off the uh, plastic cover behind the video so and then you see the motherboard it's all good no problems no like some solderings or the signs of water so this is a motherboard of the <coughs> lenovo j5045 so here is a bios this is a bios of this model it's also the typical <clears throat> so i hope that uh, there will be not uh, problems with unsoldering let's add some flux and now i'm using my heat station to unsolder the bios i'm not using the microscope in this case because this bias is pretty big so and I have a good light, so I don't see any problems. I couldn't solder it without a microscope. So the temperature is <clears throat> about uh, 400 degrees. And this process should be quick. I'm waiting for temperature, yeah, for right temperature, and now let's unsolder it. It will take like 10 seconds, more or less. Yeah, sorry, you can see you can see it, but it uh, unsoldering, so the uh, solder is melting, and now is the time, yeah, to take off the bias okay so this is not a problem with bias all went good and i'm using uh, the special tool to reprogram the bias uh, this is a special program from aliexpress it costs like a five euros so it's pretty cheap but it's uh, saved me a lot of money i think so this is a tool now we will see it the programmer it's pretty simple you should put your bias in a special way to this holder with metallic clicks clips and the point the fir of the first contact of bias should coincide with uh, this point so now it's good in the correct position and i will reprogram it on my laptop yeah so i i did it sorry i can show you the process it's it's pretty easy so and now i will solder uh, the bias again to the motherboard so i put the bias in a correct position to um, at the motherboard and now i'm waiting for right temperature on my heat station and let's do the thing So waiting, 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 waiting. The temperature is almost 400 degrees. Almost the maximum flow. And let's solder it. By the way, I'm downloading uh, the BIOS 
images uh, BIOS dumps uh, from Telegram, uh, from special channels. Uh, the name of one of them is BIOS Archive. The other one is uh, the website BadCapsNet. So it has a lot of uh, dumps of BIOS and uh, also the schematic and board views. Uh, so you you can see it's good and without even microscope you can solder it up at the motherboard so now is the turn to try it to try to mount the motherboard back to to the plate to the cover plastic cover and so i'm doing it doing it now and then i will connect the motherboard uh, to the power of course before i will connect the connector of uh, display so now i'm just mounting the motherboard it's also pretty easy so we know uh, even especially this model is pretty easy to mount all things to connect all things correctly and you can see you know in the upper upper part of of the video you can see the broken hinges broken i mean broken plastic for the screws and the screws should hold up uh, the screen metallic connectors the hinges i'm i mean so now uh, let's connect the connector power connector uh, then uh, we should connect the display connector so now i will arrange the cable of power connector for now let's connect the power button but uh, without it we uh, can turn on the laptop i mean of course we can we should short some contacts uh, as i remember the first and second uh, contacts in the power button connector but it's e easier to make it with power button so the last thing we should make it's to connect the screen so I'm trying to do it so we don't need to mount all the parts of the laptop we can just connect the power button the power connector and the screen so let's do it to do so we should be able to see to check if uh, the laptop is working now so let's connect the screen and in the moment of trust so I will connect the power adapter okay it should be 20 volts and let's push the power button and what we will see and we see how the laptop is turning on and yes we have an image so i will check it but i think all will be good and in the next video we will repair the hinges and we will repl replace this screen so thank you for watching see you in my next video see you